Well, the day has come. I'm finally applying for the Amex Gold Card. Is it Amex or Amex? Let me know down below. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an honest overview of why I'm applying for this card. And then I'm gonna talk about some of my credit history data points. And then finally, the actual application process. Now, to be completely honest and straightforward with you, this card doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me right now. One, I'm currently using the 5X grocery store bonus with my Chase Freedom Plex, which I have active until January, 2024. And two, I use either my Chase Sapphire Preferred or my Built MasterCard for my dining transactions. And those get me 3.1X and 3X points respectively. So if I were looking at the MX Gold for its 4X grocery and dining multipliers, well, I don't really need those at the moment. So why on earth am I getting this card, especially since it has a $250 annual fee? Well, one of the most important factors is the welcome offer is at an all-time high right now. And I think we can all agree that getting 90,000 membership rewards points is pretty sweet. Now, since the Amex Gold welcome offer is a once-in-a-lifetime situation, you really wanna ensure you take advantage of a good offer because, well, that's the only one you're gonna get. Another reason I'm getting this card is so I can make content about it. In my opinion, it's more beneficial for the viewer when the creator actually has the product, uses the product, and can speak from experience about the product as opposed to solely relying on researching the product. And another important factor is that I can earn additional MR points through my referral links. When you use my links, it helps me out big time so I can continue making these videos. But with that said, I recognize the Amex Gold Card is not a good fit for everyone. So whether or not it's a good card for you is gonna highly depend on your particular spending behavior. For me, once my Chase Grocery Bonus expires, the Amex Gold is gonna be my go-to grocery card. This is because that 4X multiplier is gonna earn us in the ballpark of 40,000 MR points per year since my wife and I spend around $800 per month at the grocery store. Valuing MR points at two cents per point this equates to roughly $800 in value per year. And when we talk about MR point valuations, it's really gonna be all over the place. But the lowest we should aim for is one cent per point. Now, the dining multiplier is also 4X points. And for this category, our spend varies, but it's somewhere in the ballpark of $200 to $300 per month. If we take the average, we'll get $250 times 12, which gives us $3,000 per year, multiplied by 4X gives us an additional 12,000 points per year. So so for my wife and I, we're gonna see around 52,000 points per year or just over $1,000 in value. Now, obviously this more than covers the annual fee, but the thing we need to realize is there's completely free options out there. And the first one that comes to mind is the City Custom Cash. This card can get you 5% cash back on your highest spend category, up to $500 in spend per billing cycle. But I get it, that card ain't sexy and you certainly don't wanna whip it out while you're out on a date. And you also need to decide, what do you actually want? Do you want cash back or do you want free travel? If you're more into cash back, don't even waste your time with the Amex Gold. So the $250 annual fee, you'll see everyone reference the fact that this annual fee can effectively become a $10 annual fee due to the fact that this card comes with $120 in Uber cash and $120 dining credit, which are both broken down into $10 monthly credits. But is this truly worth that full $240? For me, not a chance. I use Uber maybe once a year, and frankly, I've never used Uber Eats. And out of the dining credit options, I've I've only been to the Cheesecake Factory, and that's certainly not a common occurrence. But your situation may be completely different. Maybe you get full value out of the $240 in credits, making this card legitimately good for your situation. Now, when I get this card, yes, I'm certainly gonna go pick up my slice of cheesecake and go pick up my Uber Eats meal once a month, but I'm viewing these things as a little added benefit of having this card. And the other benefit of this card is having access to Amex offers. However, it's not really possible to estimate how much value this is gonna bring me. But since Amex offers are sometimes pretty lucrative, I'd imagine there's gonna be at least some added value here throughout the year. Now, the gold card also earns 3X points on flights booked directly with airlines or through AmexTravel.com. But before we hop into the application, I wanna cover my credit history data points so that you have a better idea of where I stand. First of all, looking at Experian, my FICO 8 score is currently sitting at 818. I currently have 17 personal credit cards with a total available limit of $194,900. And my oldest credit card is my Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards, which is almost 17 years old. 
the highest credit limit I have on an individual card is my Capital One Venture X and the limit's $30,000. For hard inquiries, I have seven on Experian, one on Equifax, and three on TransUnion. Now my credit utilization is currently sitting at 2%, which is typically what it hovers around. And that's the benefit of having high available credit. You can spend more on a monthly basis and have your utilization be consistently low. Now I did make a video about how utilization doesn't really matter too much since it doesn't have memory, but it's gonna start mattering more when lenders adopt the new scoring models such as FICO 10T and Vantage Score 4.0. However, mass adoption of these models is likely years down the road. Now, one of the great things about Amex is once you have a credit card with them, all future credit card applications will be soft inquiries which do not impact your credit score. And I think we can all agree that it would be lovely if other credit card issuers followed in Amex's footsteps. But now let's hop into the application. So I have a 90,000 MR point welcome offer in front of me, which is exactly what I'm hoping to get. And while I do appreciate you guys using my referral links, make sure you're taking advantage of the highest possible offer you can find. And one of the most important things I recommend with this card is to select the rose gold version. It's actually been shown to improve your romantic life by 15 to 20% when compared to the classic gold. Results not typical, your miles may vary. All right, so we're seeing the correct referral offer here. So we know we can go ahead with the application. First things first, we're gonna need to put in our full name and then we can decide what we want our name on card to be. While you have some wiggle room with your first name, Amex notes that your legal last name must be present on your card. And for email address, if you already have an Amex account, you're gonna wanna use that email address so this card gets added to the same account. Next, we have our date of birth, mobile phone number, home address, and then social security number. You can also use your individual tax identification number or ITIN here if you don't have a social security number. This next section is one I see people asking the most questions about, and that's the total annual income. Is it okay to inflate your income here in hopes to get a higher credit limit? Well, first of all, the Amex Gold card is a charge card, so it won't really have a credit limit like credit cards do. But back to the question. No, you really want to be honest here. If you happen to trigger a financial review by Amex, they may require you to provide supporting documentation that proves your income. However, if you're 21 or older and you have reasonable access to OPM, which is other people's money, and you can use this money to pay your Amex Gold bill, you can actually add this money to your total annual income for the purposes of this application. Now, for non-taxable income, if this applies to you, you'll likely be well aware of it. It's gonna include things like social security, child support, disability, and so on. And then for income source, most people are gonna choose employed for this section, but obviously, if you get the bulk of your income elsewhere, make sure to select the correct option. So we have all that filled out. Now let's continue to the terms. So we can see here the APR for this card is gonna fall somewhere between 20.49% and 28.49%. So make sure to pay your balances in full each and every month. All right, so everything looks good. Let's go ahead and click agree and submit. Oh, Joshua, you are not eligible to receive the welcome offer. Would you like to proceed? Oof, uh, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. So unfortunately, this is what's known as Amex pop-up jail, and it can be caused by several different things. Maybe Amex has deemed you as not being profitable to them, or perhaps you've upset Amex in some way in the past. But hang on, I'm gonna see if I can find a different offer and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm back, and I was finally able to trigger the 90,000 point offer organically by opening and closing an incognito browser over and over again, probably 20 times. So the first application I tried was through a referral link, didn't work. So let's give it a second try and see what happens. Same deal, I have all my info plugged in, and let's skip right to the apply button. Same terms as before, and for the moment of truth, Okay, this is looking a little better so far. They're asking if I want to request additional cards, which leads me to believe I am eligible for this offer. And I am adding my wife as an authorized user here, since this will eventually become our go-to grocery store card, as well as our dining card. And we can click offer terms on the right side, just to double check that this is indeed still the 90K point offer, which we see it is. Okay, so now the actual moment of truth, I think. Sweet deal. Oh, and it looks like 
they give me the option to either accept or decline the card, which is a great little feature they've included. Most card issuers, once you hit the apply button, there is no turning back. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept. And as we can see, I can actually get my card number before my card is delivered, which is wonderful. This is gonna allow me to get a head start on this 4K spend I need to hit in order to earn the 90K bonus points. So moral of the story, if you run into the same situation where you get the dreaded Amex pop-up, hopefully you'll be able to simply use a different offer link like I did. And if you're curious how my Amex Blue Business Plus application went, you're gonna enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.